as we know for restaurants and bars throughout the metro because of the pandemic. Regardless, they are still anxious too for football's return. KCTV 5's Greg Payne joins us live now from Arrowhead. How's it looking out there at the stadium? What are businesses telling you now, Greg? Arrowhead Stadium, Carolyn, is looking as beautiful as always, ready for that home opener against the Texans. But while I'm in the parking lot, I want to show you real quick. Check it out. Things look a little bit different, and you might be noticing a lot of these yellow cones. Well, that's just part of the cheese process of making the environment safe for everyone tomorrow. And as for the restaurants and bars, many are excited to get this season kicked off. The co-owner of Charlie Hooper's in Brookside says during the early stages of COVID, they were hit really hard. Sales were down about 80%, but things have turned around and they believe the Chiefs season will make things even better. They've been uh, busy prepping for the big game by adding new TVs and getting all of their staff ready for what they expect, uh, along with many others, to be an even bigger crowd due to the limited fan capacity at Arrowhead Stadium this year. Of course, with COVID, we're all wearing our masks, we're wearing our gloves. All of our tables here are socially distanced up to the health department guidelines. Uh, we're adamant about when fans come in, they have to stay seated. Uh, but we are a safe place for you to come. Now, Charlie Hoopers will be operating on a first come, first serve basis, but you should check with the areas and the different restaurants and businesses that you want to watch the game at if you do plan on going to places just to make sure that they're not requiring any reservations. Now, coming up at five o'clock, you're going to hear from an industry that wasn't necessarily hit hard by COVID, but they're just as excited for the Chiefs to come on back. Reporting live here in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News. All right.